All right, we're checking out the only game where you can add 400 billion people to Florida, sneeze, and then kill them all. <laughs> it's Solar Smash. So, uh, Solar Smash had a giant update, and before they did this, they actually asked me some things that I would like to see, and so I have to show you the horror that is now possible, besides being able to finally shove things up Uranus. Now, you can create a custom planet and you can decide exactly where the land mass is. Crap, I just freaking blew a hole in my custom planet by accident, hold on. Anyway, where the land masses are. You can shove people in there. In fact, you can just shove a lot of people in there. You can shove as many people as you're prepared to hold down on the mouse for. Actually, hold on, we can be a little bit more artsy here. All right, just throw down some of this. There we go. Now at least we have, you know, something legitimate. Now we can shove all the people in there. Here we go. I feel like the F would be especially good property values. So I'm gonna throw everyone in there. Less people live in the U's. I just threw a meteor right on the middle of the U's. Now it looks like, I don't even, I don't really wanna describe what that looks like now. Oh, you can change the intensity of the brush. Hell yes! Oh yeah! Oh, this is much easier. Throw some cloud cover on there. It looks like, can I put like Saturn rings around it? Oh, hell yes! You can even make it like a D20. Anyway, once you do all this, you can save it, and then you get to find out exactly what your world is like. See, this three billion people live right on the F, or at least I think they do. I don't really know how many people live in these other, well, actually we can find out. Might as well use the new, Use the new weapon here. I killed over a billion people. I also created FOC. I don't know what this stands for, but I'm sure it's something totally monetizationable. The only problem is, is that three billion people on a planet isn't enough. I may actually have to add land to an entire planet and shove as many people on there as humanly possible. Now, before I do that, hold on. All right, let me just get the F out of there. Okay, so this brush all the way up, all the land on the entire planet, all of it. Water, we don't need water where we're going. Oh yeah, there we go, come around this way. I love that this game is like art, except instead of creating beautiful pictures, you're creating massive amounts of casualties. I realize now when they asked me what I would like, I wanted the ability to kill more people, like to custom make the world so that I could do terrible things with it. I only now realize that my verbal description of what I want in this game makes me sound like a psycho. Oh, don't, don't want to miss anything. Here we go. Okay. So now all the available space is taken up. All right, let me just save this because I have a tendency to blow planets up without wanting to. All right, put that all the way up. Now as many people as I can shove on here. It's actually quite hard to draw the word yeet. Imagine this was like a science project for school or something like that. Your parents would be like, what did you do at school today? And you'd be like, I killed 70 billion people. Although in today's day and age, the parents would be like, I'm so proud. This just looks like a gigantic orifice in the middle of the earth that keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's like the earth mouth. It just keeps screaming louder and louder because it knows what's coming. Oh, hold on. I missed a spot. <laughs> Can't have that. There we go. There we are. No place on this planet will be safe. Actually, considering I've already put however many billion people, I should probably save. You know what? How many people are on here right now? 58 billion people. Oh my God. I'm not, I'm not even close to done yet. We might get a hundred billion. I'm not gonna lie, it has definitely taken some time filling up this entire planet with people to kill. But you know, like, Rome wasn't built in a day. This isn't really like Rome, it's more like hell. I, hell would probably wasn't built in a day either. The devil's probably still importing furniture from Wayfair or whatever. Right now it just looks like I'm giving the earth a gigantic sunburn. Oh, I left a cheese doodle on there. All right, we're almost there. Got a couple more sanctuaries that I need to fill up. Is it just me or does this look like a frog? Oh, this planet is just looking hideous. All right, fill all that up. Get that last little spot over here. There we go. There we have it. Okay, so every single inch of this planet is now inhabited by the maximum amount of people. 
which gives us 103 billion people. Again, always make sure to save often because we're gonna be blowing this up a lot. I think my favorite part is, okay, so this is the dark side of the planet. It's actually brighter than the non-dark side of the planet because there's so many cities. What else can I do to this place? Does it matter how cold or hot it is? Is everyone still alive? Yeah, no one cares. Just one giant Canada. And now it's one giant Florida. The cloud cover doesn't even matter because you barely get to see the clouds. I do always love like asteroid belts. We'll put that there. Vegetation. Our vegetation is painted with blood. There. <laughs> it just looks like, like rivers of blood. I actually had to do it with vegetation because we don't have any water. At least I don't think we have any water. Hold on, let me, let me turn it like hot pink just so yeah, there's no water. It's just land. What is this? Is this like the color of my cities? Oh, this is just the overall tint of the planet. My planet looks incredibly festive. All right, so if I take my uh, my lightning here and I just touch like the tip, how many people die? So... <laughs> I actually broke the game. I can't use anything. I put so much crap on this planet. I'm not even allowed to kill it. Hold on, there has to be a way. Oh God. It works now, but it saved this image of my planet. So it looks like my planet is a sun. You know what? Seems like something I would do. Everyone lives on the surface of the sun. Yeah. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cooler than any planet I could have designed. Well, now I can finally lightning strike it. Oh, the lightning can't even exist. Oh, it can't, it just, it's just inside. Wow, I killed 103 billion people with one single storm. Okay, there we go. I got my planet back and it looks real now. Well, you know, save for the seas of blood. So with the new weapon, one single shot, how many people die? I'm gonna do it up here, actually. 11 billion people. You know, with this, hold on a second. There you go, I made a revolver. Strangely enough, the safest place to live is in the backside of the revolver of death. Can you blow up the sun out here? I'm just trying to see if my custom planet can suffer a toxic heat death. It absolutely can. I'm really hoping that the game saves how many people I've killed. Because we're gonna be, we're gonna be setting records here. Just real quick, I hadn't actually gotten to play with the freeze ray that much. I don't understand why it's killing people. Well. I understand why it's killing people in Florida, but I don't understand why just being cold kills everyone else. It's what- Oh, turn the earth into a snowball. Did I get something for this? Ooh, yes. <laughs> I remember flat earth, but I don't remember, I don't remember us it giving us cube earth. Cube earth is amazing. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. Hold on, where, where is Florida at on cube earth? Oh, we're over here. I just need to just real quick. Oh, we're gonna have to, hold on, I need to step this up. There we go. Oh man, I was hoping the earth would stay alive. Although now it kind of looks like two pieces of toast. Quite frankly, it's delicious. While I have cubed earth, there is something that obviously I have to do. This, this, I don't want it to go too deep now. Maybe a little deeper, right? Well, a little deeper, there we go. All right, now we go over here. Yeah. No, don't blow up yet. Just just chill out in there. You guys are really disappointing me. I was gonna say, if I throw them into the side. All right, how about if I slow things down? There we go. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Don't do it, don't do it. Do not explode yet. Do not explode yet. I am nowhere near done. Damn it! I think the thing that amazes me the most is how much death I've caused so far, and there's only one billion people that died from all this insanity. Ah, it's pooping out my explosion, stop it! Well, actually this is, well, it was working out well. Now not so much, now I can't actually even see. Real quick, just because I need to know, does the cube planet have like better sunscreen or anything? Uh, no it does not. <laughs> I don't know if it dies like a circular planet, but it's not looking good so far. It's basically just a sugar cube getting slowly dissolved. Oh, that's interesting. It has an outline. Kind of like a cardboard box right now. Uh, 
It still exploded in a vague circle though. So I mean, you can give this a shield. Does it stop the ultimate cannon? Of course I put the shield in the middle of the ocean. Listen, I wanted to protect the whales, okay? Uh. Okay, the shield did nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> what am I paying you for? It protects against other things, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on, now I'm kind of curious. How many of these can you have? Is there any way to stop the cannon? I'm like Iron Man, I'm going to throw money at this problem until it works. Yeah, I'll put them on the backside too, how about that? Okay, like a giant cancerous growth at this point, they have stacked outward and... Do it! It did absolutely nothing. Oh, I actually went almost through the exact same hole. Well, now I need to know something else. Hold on, I need to put an absolutely obscene number of these things around the planet. I'm assuming you can't stop the sun's explosion with these, but I'm willing to spend seven billion lives in order to find out. Yeah, I wouldn't want the, wouldn't want the polar ice caps to melt. Let's make sure to protect that real good. I want every square inch of this planet to have a shield over it. Oh, there's a corner over here, can't allow that. Here we go. This whole side. I told you I was prepared to use an absurd amount of these. More! Every square inch. Okay, I think, oh, hold on. The problem is the friggin' so many corners like running out of actual screen space. I mean, this is a channel of extremes, so it kind of makes sense. There we go. Okay, gotta fill up that hole. Uh, let's see, you got one over here, one over here, this whole edge. Okay, now that I've effectively made a deal with the devil, spent 70 gajillion dollars, it looks like there's openings, but there's not, because the problem is when you look straight ahead, it's all closed up. This is the ugliest protective sphere anyone has ever made. Right now, some alien species is looking at this and face palming. Okay, so this part over here that's pretty far away, I just want to test. It will legitimately stop things, right? Oh yeah, okay, stops that, no big deal. Giant fisty guy, it takes out quite a few of them, but it does stop him. I'm assuming the, the bull crap beam just goes right through the planet still. Yep. And now the big question is, does this just act like, oh, hold on, there's another hole. Does this just act like a giant piece of tin foil? Does it just, does it just bake everyone inside basically? Keep finding more openings. Okay, now I'm satisfied. This, okay, sun's exploding, time is slowed down. Everyone's still okay, everyone is not okay. Every so many people are, are less okay now. Oh, Florida's gonna be the last to die, yes. I did it! I saved all my people one time. Oh, legit! It killed all of the- Okay, I wasn't sure if it would destroy all of the protective things, but it does. And once again, the planet is sad. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't think that the planet knows how to experience happiness. I went back over to my custom planet. I ended up using the world destroyer bomb by accident. So now, damn it, there's a second one. So now all 103 billion people just got liquefied due to a misclick. What happens if I give it the D20? Oh, it's got a lovely bionic squid on the bottom over here. That's good. Will that stop the world destroyer? Oh, I mean, it did so far. I don't know what's gonna happen once it, you know, peels in on itself. Yep, planet's totally fine. Can the shield stop Cthulhu? Cthulhu doesn't give a shit about no shield. Reach in there and grab it, Cthulhu. Never mind. Cthulhu just got backhanded back into the nether reaches of space. How about shadowy one punch man? Are you able to get through the shield or are you just gonna break your hand? Ah, totally got through the shield. Finally, part of the, the planet is actually dark as well. I wanted to see if the little buzzsaw ray could get through this, but they just crash into the asteroids. So the asteroids actually do something. See, it starts trying to, it starts trying to meld its way through the earth, but then because they suck at driving, they run into the asteroids and die. So wait, if you take out one of the squids, does that stop the shield? Stops half the shield. Now my Earth is wearing a sad hat. How about if Cthulhu is spawned inside of the shield? 
Oh, he just, he just, no matter what, he goes to the outside of the shield. Let me fondle the shield until nothing is left. I didn't know this, but you can actually hit these asteroids. Like, you can send them out in space. What happens if you drive a moon through the asteroids? It does provide a little bit of protection. Saying this sounds really bad out loud, but I want to know what happens when I open up a black hole in the middle of Uranus. There we go. Now Uranus, I don't know, it's all just gas, so... It just looks sad. It's like a large di- Oh. Uranus is healing! Uranus cannot be defeated! And there you go. While Uranus has a permanent scar, it is... Still in one piece. So wait, if Cthulhu comes down and like literally takes a part of it with him, does it still get to regenerate? Although I don't really think he should be taking a solid. Okay, no, he doesn't. Yep, totally regenerates. Interestingly, the thing that does the most damage to Uranus is freezing it. Uranus is indeed allergic to the cold. I was curious. Okay, yeah, I was curious if opening up a black hole on my 103 billion population planet would get rid of some of the asteroids, and it absolutely does. My planet wasn't happy not being a cube like the other one, so I fixed it. Okay, so I know that this laser is basically the strongest weapon in the game. It's just instant death. So can this take out Cthulhu, finally? All right, summon him. I don't see anything. I can hit him from this side too, it went right through him. How about the worm? Okay. No. I'm trying to saw cube to earth in half, there we go. I was gonna say, but everyone just keeps running into one another. There, and now I can finally put a bunch of black holes in the middle of two pieces of bread. And that's what that looks like, it's delicious. And, you know, violently murderous. And we're left with what looks like Cube Earth screaming in pain. Anyway, folks, I think I've given them 103 billion reasons why not to listen to me. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.